We'll stay in one piece. And please welcome on to it. For, I think, the first time, well, certainly the first time on a bench with an honor comedy stage, will you please welcome your own Mr. Ryan Thornton? be a comedian, my friend said it's not going to work. You'll make it far too theatrical like you always do. And that just pisses me off. <laughs> so yeah, look at this, I like this floor. Yeah, how many dead animals am I standing on? I feel really manly. Which is about as manly as this act's going to get, I can promise you. So I'm, in case you haven't realised, I'm from where the fat, two plus Europeans live. Yeah, we are fat in England. We've got overactive knives and forks. Um, and so, uh, I've been listening round. I hear we've got some Austrians in. Uh, do we have any Germans in? You're German, aren't you, Wolfen? Nice, <laughs> Wolfen. Right, stand up for me, Wolfen, please. So, Wolfen's from Germany. Oh, stay stand up. And try to sit down. So, um... <laughs> Everybody got a good look at him? If you are from Italy, Spain or Greece, drink what you like, Wolf will catch you Bill. <laughs> Unless you, you have to drink responsibly though. Unless you're from Greece, then drink what the fuck you like, he'll pay, but you have to leave and never come back. <laughs> Shall drink. Any Scandinavians in? No? Me and a friend went to Scandinavia. We met two girls. He's was Finnish. Man's fattish. <laughs> I think that's a shit joke. My friend told me the other day. Um, everybody loves it. So, uh, yeah. But we all have one big happy European family now, aren't we? Or at least we're one big family. I'm not so sure what happened. Um, and I think that's a good metaphor for... Uh, but for Europe, you've got Germany, the breadwinner, the paterfamilia, the patriarch, the efficient making some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit overworked and falls asleep in front of the TV on the evening. Why do mums hear that? Do you have that here? In England, like this. If a dad falls asleep on the sofa, the mum just kicks off. If you want to sleep, go to bed. Why? I can sleep on the sofa, it's almost a bed. <laughs> So then we've got France. France, yeah. She's um, she's the sexy mother. <laughs> oh, hello Germany. Your fiscal responsibility is really turning me on. <laughs> and your hard long-term economic plan. And Italy, Italy. Uh, Italy's like this student. He's gone away to the University of Fiscal Responsibility. Yeah? He's, he's, he's in the last semester, one exam to go. He keeps putting it off, putting it off. He's too busy shagging. <laughs> and um, Greece. Greece, Greece, Greece. Greece is like the, um, the old grandma. Terminally ill. Won't fucking die. <laughs> Pumping her full of morphine, still won't fucking die. A hospital bill's going through the roof, still won't fucking die. Won't get any fucking better either, but won't fucking die. And Britain, 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 Britain. 
What are we? Well, we're not really in the family. We're that guy, you'll have met guys like this, we're that guy that comes over every couple of months, fucks you in the ass, and then never calls. <laughs> But it is, it's hard work being British. <laughs> really, no, it's hard. Um, because we're a bit um, arrogant. You know, we're, we're, we're awfully polite, but we are a bit mm, foreigners. You know? And particularly after the Olympics, because up and down the bars of Britain, after the Olympics, you've just got hundreds of men. We're good, aren't we? Yeah, we're fantastic. Yeah, we're brilliant, brilliant. We did a good job, did a good Best country in the world, best country in the world. But it's not our fault. Look at our name, yeah? And this, this tells you how arrogant we are. We are called Great Britain. Or for the audience, Great Britain. Um, but I think it's a good thing. Really, I do. Um, I think you should try it here. Awesome Austria. Yeah? Or how about this one? Peaceful Palestine. <laughs> It works for the Democratic Republic of North Korea. <laughs> Satire. Let's have another drink, eh? So, well, the, the economic crisis in Europe is a lot like having a tragic love life. Which, funnily enough, is what the next bit of my show is about. That was a seamless link there. Did you like it? <laughs> so yeah, I have um, Well, I've, I came to Austria because um, I had my heart broken. So I ran away. It was a bit like the French Foreign Legion for me. Yeah? Apart from it's not in France. Which incidentally is the best thing about Austria. You're not in France. <laughs> Anybody here have the heart broken? Anybody? Anybody? Oh god, this guy has. Oh, you've got pain behind those eyes, haven't you? The last time I saw a look like that was on a girl in Amsterdam so doing something interesting with a Mars bar. <laughs> dead, dead. Oof. What was she name? I know it's Marcus. Come here, Marcus, give me a hug. Anybody here who hasn't had their heart ripped out mercilessly, thrown on the floor, stamped with a stiletto, leaving them unable to feel like a real man and sexually impotent, the same as Marcus? <laughs> Anybody hasn't had that? Let me tell you, so it's a bit obvious, but it's fucking horrible. Really. Isn't it, Marcus? Yeah. But when I first, uh, when I got dumped, while I was getting dumped, 